and welcome. My name is Eric and I'm from Games by Hyper. Uh, today I want to show you an update of what I've been working on with the common UI system. The last update I showed you what I was being capable of being switching between a controller and also the mouse. Um, I have had a couple of weeks so now I have time to actually implement some things and I wonder what you think of it. So the first thing that you would notice is I'm able to hover over it. You hear the sound effects. And in the lower left corner, you have an action bar. And the action bar is also showing some hovering effects. When I'm enabling my gamepad, it will focus on the play because I've set that to now to focus. And you can see the buttons and the B as a quick button. So when I'm opening the options, and uh, this is cool. Uh, by the way, the things that you see are not implemented uh, yet. Uh, the only settings that are implemented, uh, implemented are the video settings. All the other settings are not working. Uh, but I'm able to press these tap buttons like this. And it switches really nicely. I'm so happy with that. And as you can see, the colors um, when it is selected it is showing an orange text uh, but when you're hovering it is showing a white text and if you are not hovering it's not showing it it's more uh, grayed out so i'm quite happy with the the differences between hovered selected and um, inactive um, another cool thing for this is the action bar uh, you see i have a lot of it is available there when i switch to my mouse the, the tabs are uh, are gone uh, these are these right mouse uh, right button and the left button um and this in the bottom does change dynamically and i really like it i put myself by the way more to the right than normal on the screen so you can actually see the settings right there Okay, and uh, what you... Yeah, I think this is cool to show. Um, uh, the, 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 the settings itself, especially the quality preset. When I'm switching between them, uh, you can see that the uh, affected uh, settings are also switching directly. However, it's not being applied. Uh, currently, when I, I need to press the Y on the gamepad and it will get this confirm dialog box and says hey do you want to apply the settings and i say yes i want to um it's now a uh, it's it, it is a windowed mode by the way in the 9020 settings i can probably do it bigger and let's set it to this one then i'm going to press apply again and now uh, it's uh, Creating the screen that uh, that you are seeing right now, so that that is quite nice. Um, but what if we want to change something right now? Uh, for instance, I want to change the shadows to uh, low. That will be horrible, by the way. But let's do it. So we've set it to low. Um, when we look at the, uh, the the screen here, we see there are no shadows. It's, it looks awful in my opinion however it is working um, but we have screwed up the settings and we want to reset the default again so i've made a button in this case uh, reset to defaults x so i'm going to reset it press apply and it will uh, uh, directly apply all these defaults again and the shadows do work again let's set this one to uh, this resolution again apply it confirm it nice okay what if we made user settings user changes for instance uh, my shadows i want them to be at high my enter aliasing also at high but my textures could be um, at medium something like that uh, oh uh, yeah uh, and i apply this so i'm going to confirm it um and they are now applied we don't see many changes because the settings are not that uh, uh, disruptive 
However, let's imagine we are back again in the settings menu and we are screwing things up uh, like so. You think, oh no, I do want to have my old settings back again. So not the defaults, but I want to cancel out the, the changes that I currently made to the last changes I uh, had as a user. So I have this button uh, to cancel the changes that you made. And now it's being set again to the last applied settings that you did as a user. So that is quite cool. Um, there's also an auto set quality button. Uh, it actually works, so that's, that's really cool. Uh, this will also have a confirm dialog box like this. Um, I see that on the recording, the boxes do not look nice, by the way. They look beautiful here but somehow the borders are not fully recorded so let me check uh, what's happening there however please know that the boxes should look well and not like uh, what you see on that screen okay um yeah i think that's about it um especially what i like is the different options for um, the settings for instance these are sliders uh, we have color blind strength. I took these images from uh, from Epic. They already made sure uh, uh, to have this available, and you can tweak it quite nicely, like so. If there is text in the setting menu that is not fitting uh, into the setting text, it will uh, scroll automatically. And we have all kinds of cool sliders. So let's do the brightness really low. And now we see this dark environment with a very strong uh, colorblind strength on a specific vision. Um, I don't like it. Uh, I will reset it to the defaults again, confirm it. Um, yeah, like that. Um, I will keep you updated. I'm currently trying to develop my uh, these, these gameplay logics here, especially the language. I will uh, include some examples for localization, but I am not going to translate every word. That's just uh, uh, I will just make it so you can do it your own uh, very easily. I will make all these um, uh, audio buttons like here. And I will create a control section. And this one will be for the mouse and keyboard. These will be set as, uh, as defaults, so the primary ones to the left. And the secondary binding you can add uh, to the right here. Um, I am thinking of when you are switching a gamepad and are on the control tab, that it will show like an image of uh, your control itself and just displace the buttons. I think the key binds only should work on a keyboard and mouse and on a gamepad it should only use some presets. But that's what I think. Uh, I will experiment with it. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think of it. And I will keep you updated about any progress I made. Um, uh, I like it a lot and I think this is going to be an awesome menu system. I hope you have a very nice day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.